Welcome to Manic Autistic Superhero Chapter 13, Dreaming of You. Shine, shine, shine. Establish a new link. Flash, flash. Ciao, Liz. Ryujin, Aries. Glowing, glowing, Eli. Ra, Talek. Establish a new link. Glowing, Manic, Manic, wake up. <laughs> We're deep in dream mode, no waking just yet. But they can't meet her. But she needs to. Oh, she does. You know how I feel about her, Morph. So she won't meet them, huh? Crash! No! What are you doing? Saving you. What? Oh. What? Ah, stop! I can't stop. She'll be able to find us here. What are you? We need to get to your dream. <gasps> Gasp. Wait, we're here. Stop. Seriously, stop. We're going too deep. Oh, no. Underwater? We're doomed. What? We're doomed. What are you talking about? We're in your mind. In your dream. This isn't a dream. It's a nightmare. A drowning dream? No, 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 no. This is bad. I've got no control here. Oh, come on. I've got a flawless ability to center myself and determine where I am. And I am in your consciousness. Whoosh! Hey, you helped me when I was lost. So now I will help you. Wait, are you another dreamer or part of this dream? I am not part of this dream, nor am I another dreamer. That is illogical. I'm sorry, I don't understand it myself, but oh please. I haven't the time for fun. Fun? Feh, I am here to protect the eighth. Oh, come on, if you don't want to, just wake up. Don't tell me what to do. What would you do instead? Ryujin? Ryujin, right. I'm going with the jelly. This place is dangerous. Right, then we should go. Fine, I'll go. Alright, let's go! Where are we going? My form is becoming unstable. Hold on. We're almost there. Just a bit further. Is this Saturn? Here we are! Strange, my sense of direction says we're still in Manic's head, but my form is acting as if I've entered a new mind. Wait, what is this? It looks like Sa Saturn's core is a house. Yeah, my house. It does feel nice and calm here. Well, it is a good thing that you aren't freaking out anymore. So, what is your relationship with Talek? Shadow, he's my friend. Right. Wait, you're one of the immortals. Yes, what do you know about us? Well, Shadow told me a story in Dream of two sisters, Chal and her sis, who married two humans and had... Three kids, the seven immortals. But other than Chow as a mother, I don't know who's who. What? Like I don't know who married who and who the kids were? Ah, I will tell you. Tell it like a story I won't remember. Ah, very well. I was born for the first time in Fayum, Egypt. In the year 3802 BCE. I was the older, more responsible brother. My younger, unsophisticated brother was my constant company. We lived in Fayum most of the time, but every third winter we'd travel to our father's homeland, Harpapa, India. Whoa, Egypt to India? Harappa was a beautiful city, and one that was more advanced than Fayum at the time. It was in Har Harappa, my brother and I would meet Quinn and Chaka, who you know as Liz and Chow, respectively. The two arrived in Har Harpapa with their older sister. She was the clear leader. Their race towered over ours and possessed many jewels to give them status. Chaka was the middle-born and the least enthusiastic. Quinn was the youngest, always so bright and sunny. The moment I saw Quinn, I felt a deep se sense of purpose. At the time, few knew where the three were from, but their very existence was enchanting. They were so different from us. At the time, the idea was amazing, and I wanted to seize the opportunity. 
I think they have to be married. That's not why I was staring. It's why I was staring. You should ask if they're married. What? No way. You ask. Nah, I'm no prize, but you. Shut up with that. The family I had in Harpapa were traitors. They kept things from all over the world. When Quinn, Chaka, and their sister came to our store, I saw a chance to get an in with them. L look how big this mammal is. Ugh, everything here is a mammal. Look how tame it is. That's Nox. The ox our family uses for travel. Oh, how adorable. Ugh, you mean primitive. Using an animal for transport. So, hey, are you married? Huh? No, that custom doesn't exist in our society. Huh? Yeah, your custom of marriage is centered around reproduction. Our species, unlike yours, doesn't need a partner to reproduce. Don't waste time trying to explain parthenogenesis to it. Ah, uh, why not? Stop acting like they aren't people. Quinn was fascinated by animals, so I began bringing some out every time she would visit our store. Now, we don't have many mammals where I'm from. Each time we met, I asked for more and more information. I thought she was fascinating, but her family was always there. Then one day I had some time with just her. Here's the maps you asked for. Oh, good. Hey, can I ask anything? By that time, I knew what they were up to. I know your sisters look down on my kind, but you don't. Why is that? Wouldn't it be easier for you not to care? Easier? Probably. But I just can't. I see too much beauty in this place. And in you. Quinn felt alienated from her sisters. And I was the only human who was brave, bold enough to repeatedly talk to her. We kept our relationship secret until the birth of my oldest son, Ren. You know him as Ra. Quinn's sisters were enraged by this development. My brother and I sat outside their custom home as they talked back and forth in an alien language. You know, I thought you were crazy. But you pulled it off. I'm just jealous, you know. But you're a legend. Shut up with that. Don't you understand how powerful they are? That's why you're a legend. I'm serious. Why can't you be serious? For real, you need to grow up. They have a power that's unexplainable. They came here from another world, don't you get it? They could end us all if they wanted. Humans? Yes, ma'am, I haven't moved as instructed. You and your brother will be married to my sisters. But I thought... Yes, well, we have been developing a new genetic strategy, but a larger gene pool is required. That and our conquest is postponed indefinitely. Having agents with inside knowledge will be useful. Wait, I don't... Don't worry, your child is fine. She's letting this happen, cause why? We have a device that can ensure we live to see this conquest through, but our DNA is too similar. We need a larger gene pool. And that's what? Think of sheep. Sheep? Yes, your people breed sheep. Imagine trying to breed a sheep with spots. You need both black and white sheep. The spotted sheep is the goal, and you and I are the black and white sheep. Bah, bah. My brother soon became a father and began studying all available knowledge. Perhaps he had taken our talk to heart. My nephew's name was Edric. You know him as Eli. Quinn and her sister journeyed to Fayum with my brother and I. It was in Fayum that my second son would be born. I am nothing if not human. I gave in to my weaknesses that spring, as did my brother. My second son was named Tashiro. You know him as Talik. Jealousy, anger... Irrational anger, these things are consequences of our human nature. Quinn and Chaka are Liz and Chow. Ra is oldest, Eli was born next, and Shadow was the third. You were Rajan, today you are Ryojin, and your brother, Ares. Okay, that all makes sense, for the most part. And then there's you. Me? I told you my story. Now t you tell me yours. My story? You want to know me? No one wants to know me.
On Sandcastle Sunday, a child was born. So alert, so aware, day one, sing ABCs. Fragmented memory, relocated housing. In dream, I'm drowning every word into negative energy. So many homes, so many stories. So much one's own, so little left for me. Hold on to every trigger, memories buried so deeply. Pray to be part of something bigger. Recite it again so you don't forget it completely. I can't remember by year, just by location. Fragmented memory. We moved so, so much. Relocated housing. I was never allowed to make a fuss. In dream I'm drowning. Peers curse each other to germation. In every word into negative energy. Hey, Listen, Ryojin. You can tell your life story easily, but you are at peace with who you are. Yes, but I curse my race. They are just a young kid and have done nothing. Oh, come on. You've had how many bodies? You're telling me you never even had seasonal depression? Never. Why would I keep a body that's inferior? This is why I avoid mixing with defective humans. I don't know why Ra has kept that body for so long. Hey, come on now. You know you can't hurt. What? Emotions can't hurt. Gasp. Lunar quartz, huh?